Welcome back to Let's Play Brogue. Recording this late at night is probably not going to have good results, but hey, whatever. I'm going to play a game, so I might as well record it. It's Wednesday, January 9th, and it's like 9 p.m., and my brain does not work well this late at night, so this is just for fun. And I'm only recording because I'm playing anyway. But let's see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? What could possibly go wrong? You know, besides dying horribly, which is what usually happens in roguelike games. Death one seems to be going swimmingly. No, I'm not going to wade across the deep water. There's no reason to. I want to see that one unseen tile there because... Because I like to be thorough. Okay, I think that's it for this level, right? That's a pretty good haul from Depth 1. Granted, no equipment, but look at that. Five potions and three scrolls and a wand. That's nine consumables, one of which is multi-use. <clears throat> that's quite good for Depth 1. I mean, it's just... You know, a good collection of a lot of stuff. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I have a cold, so I may cough. Okay. dart at the rat. What a waste of a dart that would be. Go ahead and get into the vault. Stealth, transference, or awareness. You know, if I had a good weapon, the transference would be the obvious take here. But I haven't so much as seen a weapon yet. The stealth and awareness are both tempting. Let's try the stealth and see what happens. If I find, like, you know, a Warpike or something on the next level, then I'll clearly be bringing that back for the transference. But that might not happen. This could end up being a staff build or who knows what at this point. I suppose theoretically it could end up being a stealth build. I've never tried to do one of those in Brogue. Well... I've never tried very hard to do one of those, and I've never done one well. Although, you know, this is 1.7.5, which is the version for stealth builds if you're going to do them. Um, Can I just leave that monkey sleeping? Okay, this is going to be a problem. Okay, I finally got... to where I can at least throw darts at him. Wow, that hurt my health. Oh, look, blood wart. 
It also hurt my dart supply pretty hard. I'm down to 11 darts now. Which is less than I started with. Monkey, I cannot afford a lot of darts on you right now. Okay. Okay. There's a ring I haven't seen yet. It's clairvoyance. Now that makes the awareness I already passed up a lot less compelling. Um, because clairvoyance and awareness are not entirely redundant, but they are along similar lines and kind of partially redundant with each other. What did I just do? Um, this is a better place to identify potions. Try another one. Oh, confusion. This is such a good place to identify potions. Oh, I got my magic detection. Okay. Man, unfortunately it wasn't a duplicate. Which means if I ever do find any equipment, I won't know boo about it. Oh, unless it's on this level. Okay, I don't have the strength for that yet. I think... If I try to fight him right now, I could end up dead. So I better rest heal. Even though there's a blood wart right there, I would have to get there, and that would mean dealing with him. Okay, that worked out better than anticipated, but it wasn't worth the risk of trying to fight him that low on health. Okay, onward and downward. Okay. Guardian Charm. It's plus one, though. Uh, which means the Guardian would last for, like, two turns or something. It probably says... Two turns! Yeah. Pretty lackluster at plus one. Charms, in general, are not very good at plus one. Charms benefit more from enchantment in some ways. Um probably to compensate for the fact that they're generally less powerful than staves. Oh good, got yeah, strength. Uh, the flail. Hmm. Technically, flail is a heavy weapon. It's not as heavy as the other heavy weapons, so it's not a good heavy weapon, but it is a heavy weapon. Its mechanic is quite interesting, and personally, I like its mechanic. If it were just a little lighter and could be runic, or a little heavier and hit harder, it might be my weapon of choice. Or at least one of my weapons of... Well, okay, it's probably not going to beat out spears in the current uh, version, but... And specifically, war pikes. War pikes are awesome in the current version. Yeah. I need to get past both of those guys, or I'm going to have problems. There we go.
Okay, now. I think I'd better rest heal. Uh, my reasoning for rest healing is I could quaff. I could have quaffed that yellow potion, which is identified positive, and hoped for it to be life. But if it's life, I want to save it until after I quaff the orange potion to identify it, just in case it's hallucination. And, um, I wasn't in any position to be quaffing an unidentified potion that hadn't been magic detected at that point in time because I was too low on health. Okay. Is there anything else I need to explore or do on this level, or can I just go onward and downward? I think I can. Self ring is plus one. Is it worth returning? Given that the best weapon I've got is a flail, the flail's heavy enough to make that worth, uh, make transference worth having. Certainly it is. I might have kept the stealth if it was plus three or something, but at plus one, I think I'm going to take it back while I still can before I get too far away from the vault. Um, and because I have clairvoyance, I'm not going for the awareness. I'm going for the transference. Something else up there, is there? No. <laughs> Man, I wish there was a shortcut there. I guess I could uh, jump down here, but man, that's most of the way there. Hardly worth it. So I want to go around, which is quite a ways around, but hey, whatever. Okay, there's a scroll there, so I do want to get in there. Well, if I could hit with it, would be pretty good against the Conjurer, actually. Um, but at negative 7.5, no way. And I have at most two scrolls of enchantment, not three. And I don't think I want to commit to the flail yet anyway. Hmm, what if I go in here? Okay. Let's hit the orange potion. Telepathy, good. By the way, what's that other? Glorp Nuglo Herba. Which will also be a duplicate. So I'm going to have several duplicate scrolls. Um, 
Let's go with the chain mail. up the strength potion. Um, sure. Pop him there. thinking about it. I know the yellow push is positive. And it was life. <clears throat> A war axe. Now that is better than the flail. Because it's heavier. Its mechanic is slightly less useful. The flail has a really nice mechanic. But the war axe is heavier and uh, by two points and so hits quite a bit harder. Uh, I can You can look up the details on the wiki. And here we go. Um, flail versus War Axe. Um, flail does 10 to 13 damage. War Axe does 12 to 17. Uh, so that's quite a bit more base damage. Of course, if the Flail were plus 3, that would make it 13 to 16, which would still be about equal to the War Axe. So, um, now its mechanic is better, so if the Flail were plus 3 and the War Axe were plus 0, I would actually probably prefer the Flail in that specific case. But in general, hmm, I think I need to start identifying scrolls and this is if I have to enchant something right now it's clearly going to be the war axe <coughs> even though a two enchants will not really make it usable um, if I'm going to commit to something that's my best option option my best item fortunately I got identify first which lets me put the question off a little bit longer but not indefinitely at some point <coughs> <coughs> at some point I'm gonna have to commit if you don't commit in chance early enough you end up dying of course, right now, I could commit to that War Axe and still not be able to use it. That Axe, unless it's known positive, is strictly worse than the War Axe. If it's known positive, then it has a chance to be runic and blah, blah, blah. But, um... Alright, you know what? I need to identify some things. Wait, I don't have any duplicate negative potions, do I? Uh, only the Paralysis, which is known. Darkness... Okay. Oh, descent. Glad I identified descent by throwing.
That puts my pack full again. I would like to wait until I have enough enchants to make um, the weapon usable and then commit to it. Ugh. Yuck. Do love getting to do two things at once. Healing and killing a turret works for me. I really don't want to fight that totem group. There's a door down there, isn't there? Okay, um, these monkeys are going to cause me problems. Um, yep. Monkeys caused me problems. Um, okay, fortunately, they didn't get me killed by the eel. Oh. Um, let's do the blue potion. Fire immunity, okay. I suppose it's good to know what that is. Doesn't seem immediately pertinent. There we go. That worked out. Oh. Well, that room was about pointless. I had to go there for the stairs anyway. All that for an invisibility. That whole stretch of water. Fortunately, the eel wasn't there. That was quite the risk for, for that. Okay. Uh, onward and downward. We're at depth 7. We're going to have to commit soon. Where are my other enchants? Because I have at most two scrolls of enchantment. That is really not enough to make a heavy weapon usable, but I have nothing else I can enchant that will keep me alive. Well, I could make the flail usable, but man, the war axe would sure be better in the long term. Hmm. Sure would be nice to know if that well, I got chainmail. I don't need the scale. Um, I have to get past those guys. Hmm. I mean, I could levitate across the water or something. I don't think that really solves my problem, though. You know, it would solve the immediate problem of those guys, but I can just slip past them like that. Snarg, whatever. Okay, that's entirely new. <sighs> See, this need to identify things problem isn't getting better. Kobolds, I guess. The transference is plus three. That's good. Mauve potion. Let's drop the axe for the moment. Take the mauve potion. And hope to identify it somewhere. Man, I wish I had detect magic now. There's a goblin warren on this level. 
Goblin Warren levels are generally very good places to use magic detection. Because they tend to have things you would like to have magic detected. place as I'm gonna get. Oh hey, I must have seen a scroll of enchanting or there is one in the Goblin Warren and going in identified it. That's what it is. There's one in the Goblin Warren. That is good news actually because it tells me which scroll is enchanting and that means I can identify my other duplicate scrolls without committing to a build item. Okay, that worked out. Oh, I have plus three transference. That's why that worked out. Jellies are not a problem with plus three transference. Let me go with this. Sanctuary, okay. Actually, that's quite useful to have. Especially on a Goblin Warren level. Um... Off potion, hit it. Um, oh, I need life. Okay. Um, I could also hit one of those other duplicate scrolls, like this one. It was remove curse, and that tells me. Uh, that this is not cursed, and this, and this, although the axe I'm only interested in if it's runic, positive runic, so knowing that it's not cursed isn't a very big deal. But, um, hmm. Transference is helping. Uh, sure would be nice to have a good weapon. Actually, if I'd had to commit in chance, I could have put one into the transference. That wouldn't have killed me. Come to think of it. Still, this is better. Deafening War Cry, which is a summon effect, doesn't affect the centipede, because I would really hate to be boxed in between a centipede and goblins. Looks like I'm okay in that regard. The centipede seems to be ignoring the War Cry, which is good. Conjurer could be a problem, though.
All right. Um, no. Paralysis against a conjurer is no. Other options. I can just equip the no non cursed axe. That works. And I have plus three transference, so the acid mound would only be a problem if he catches me by surprise. Um. Yeah, combination of transference and that axe is getting me through here. I'm surviving, but I really need to commit to one of the heavier weapons soon. But the problem is, only the two enchants. <clears throat> yeah, that makes uh, the war axe a problem. And... It would be annoying to commit to the lesser weapon just because it has a lower strength requirement right now. Um, when I cannot be very many levels away from having enough enchants. Let's go ahead and identify the copper wand, why not? Is there a door anywhere that I can use to get rid of that? The stairs will do. Thank you. Drop that for right now. Okay, anything else on this level? Two pieces of armor plus whatever's in the Goblin Warren. Transference and an axe. Yeah, I think the jelly will not be a problem. Uh, let me drop the flail down here. Oh boy. Never mind. Centipede is curtains. Thanks for watching. Well, like I said, it's late at night. I don't do my best thinking late at night. If I'd been doing my best thinking, could I have avoided the centipede? Maybe. I knew that it was near the stairs when I went down and I probably should have anticipated that it might follow me down and probably should have taken preemptive action although I'm not sure what it would have been like I said I don't do my best thinking late at night so uh, thanks for watching and I'll record again another day probably